Hello there, sewing fan friends. Welcome back to my channel, Projector Sewing, where I go over tips, tricks, and tutorials on using a projector for sewing. Thank you for joining me today. Today, we're going over a crucial process in this step, which is taking your modified patterns and exporting the PDF. This is useful if you want to use your PDF pattern in a program such as Project and Cut, patternprojector.com or even the ditto app or really any pdf reader that you would like to use with your projector let's go ahead and get started whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out exporting as a pdf is important to be able to use your pattern outside of Inkscape. PDF is a common file format that is used and opened by a variety of programs. First things first, once you've made all the modifications to the pattern that you would like to make in Inkscape, make sure to run through this checklist to make sure that your PDF is ready for projecting in another program. These list of things, will ensure that you can see your pattern well. First, make sure your pattern lines are thick enough to see. We usually recommend between three and five point line thickness. Also make sure you're using a dark solid line for all your pattern lines. I typically use a solid black line. Make sure that your canvas or your artboard does not exceed 200 inches by 200 inches. Some programs cannot open and read files larger than that, and they will compress it or scale it so that it can open the program, which we don't want the scale changed when we are using a pattern for projection. So make sure it is less than 200 inches by 200 inches. Another important thing to include is a calibration checkpoint, whether that is a square or something that was already on the pattern for you to check to make sure that it is being projected in accurate scale. Make sure all your instructions are on the program where you need it. Something unique for Inkscape is that it does not export layers. So even though your pattern is layered in Inkscape, it will not export those layers. You will need to hide the layers that you don't need and only have visible what you want projected on your projector. Here I am in Inkscape. I went ahead and pulled up a demonstration pattern. And we'll say this is the pattern that you've made alterations to and you're ready to export as a PDF to open up in either a calibration program or another PDF reader. Inkscape at this time does not export layers. So if you do have a layered pattern, you're gonna to wanna to turn off the layers that you don't want to see and only the lines that you will want to be cutting on using your projector. So I've opened up the layers panel and if you don't see it, you may need to bring uh, this sidebar out. And it looks like three boxes here. That is the layers and objects. And you're just going to come and turn off with the layers that you don't need. You can just push the eye. You don't actually have to delete the layers. You can just turn them off. I'm just going to leave that last size on. I still have the instructions open and my calibration layer open. Now make sure if that calibration layer is over your pattern, like sometimes pattern companies will put it directly over pattern because you can turn it on or off. Just make sure to select that calibration layer and move it out of the way. You will need it when you're using your projector for sewing, so I encourage you to keep that and leave it on. Just make sure it's out of the way of the pattern where you're going to be cutting. And we're gonna go ahead and get ready to export now. The export icon, it looks like a page with a line through it. You can also come over here to file and export. 
the shortcut is also shift control E on a Windows. When you come to your export page over here, you're going to see a few things. You might have a page, you might have the document and a custom size. If you notice down in the document, it's going to cut it off so you don't have margins. It's just going to cut it really close to the images that you have. Now, if you are doing graphic design or creating a logo or something like that, that might be really great. For projector sewing, you want those margins still in there. So make sure you go ahead and click on the page and usually it will take the entire page. It's hard to see probably on your screen here, but down here it shows me that I, I haven't exactly, it looks just like it does on this screen. Down here, you'll see a little file folder. That's where you can browse where you want to export it to. If you click on that, it will open up a finder window and you can decide where you want to save it. I'm just going to put uh, demonstration and maybe I'm going to say, let's go set size six because that is the size that I have on this pattern. And we're not going to do an escape SVG. We're going to do a PDF to open up into a PDF reader. And once you have that file type and your file name, you can click save and it will have it saved already. You can also change the file type down here. You can also check the settings. Most of these you're not going to change for sewing patterns. So I really wouldn't worry about anything in here and you can push export. I've already saved it, so it's probably gonna come up with, yeah, it's gonna come up with a file saying, hey, you already saved it. It doesn't open up the file once you saved it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel because I actually already have it saved. I saved it already in the Finder menu when I clicked here on this folder. So all we need to do is go ahead and check that and open it. I went ahead and opened this up in Adobe Acrobat Reader just to show you how it exported it. You can see it looks just like the page in Inkscape. Again, it's not going to have any of those layers here that I turned off because it doesn't export layers. So make sure you have what you want to be shown and only what you want to be shown on this and you're ready to upload it to the program that you're going to be used for projecting your 